Good morning, everybody. We're back at it. It's a Wednesday morning. It's been damp and dreary all week, so this is the first day we can finally get a pour in. We're gonna try to get this house done. I think we'll make it today. A little bit of drizzle, cloudy, but no rain, so just damp. Two trucks, got 18 and a half yards, four inch four, got radiant heat, got 3,500 PSI concrete with microfiber. Should be a pretty easy one. high range water reducer in the mix today so we can pour a good loose seven that's probably seven right there seven seven and a half by using the high range using the high range just makes it flow so much easier for us like i said in other videos when you pour floors every single day you know you can't be pouring stiff concrete you just weigh yourself right out so we we'll use the high range water reducer Just a little bit more, maybe. Middle school Gonna have him raise it up just a little bit. Good. Go check that with the laser. About a half inch low. A little 
more. Hello? Are oh, you sweet yet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Too bad. Still a little bit high. Good, good, good. That's soft up there. I probably have to go back him. He's moving over. Get him empty and get him out of here so we can get that second one in and stop mixing him up. Just get this guy back to the plant so they can use him for somebody else. He's got to be almost out. Figured about half, a little over halfway with him. Yeah. Lock it. Just a little bit. You can angle it a little bit if you want. Get rid of that water. Should be close to being out. Yeah.
Ah, yeah. Getting down there, yeah. Out now. One more fan. That water from the rain the night before. We're trying to get rid of that, that surface water. I don't know if we'll be able to get rid of it or not with all this styrofoam here. It's pretty tight. Uh, we're trying to work it out one way or the other. Huh? I know. Just needed a little spark. Oh, guys. Yeah, that went pretty easy. Nine and a half yards. Dumped and spread, screeded. Really, just a matter of minutes. So, not bad. It's what we like. That's why we use the high range water reducer right there. That's a big, big reason. Get that truck dumped, screeded, get it both loaded in just a matter of minutes. Doesn't, you know, the high range water doesn't really have any other effects as far as how the concrete feels. It still feels the same to us, maybe because we use it all the time, but it doesn't make it stickier, doesn't make it harder to finish. Um, it seems like it sets the same, like it doesn't change the set times. So if you're a little skeptical about it, it's I mean, we use it every day, either the high range or the mid range. Second truck's backing in, that's the conveyor truck. I don't think we'll need to use the conveyor today. Either. Takes bow floating easy, down, down and back once and I'm done bow floating. So that's another good reason to use it, you're not killing yourself. Bull floating can be a little hard on the back sometimes. Using some accelerator in it today, it's only in the 40s and it's going to get much higher than that. So, no more hot water. We're past the point of them using hot water. So, we've just got regular cool temperature concrete. So we've got to put some accelerator in, otherwise, this stuff will never set up.
looks like rain again tomorrow which which will actually be kind of good for this but bad meaning we can't pour another floor tomorrow which we're getting backed up now we probably got 30 jobs on the list so missing one day really messes everything up Yeah. No, you can bring them all the way back. Okay. I'm not sure like what these guys that have been here for a while, if they make a little bit more than that, I would hope so. Oh, for mainly? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's not that much. They put the big one on first, yep. Yeah. Close. Pretty close. Okay. Do we want to go one more while it's right there? Yeah, might as well. It's a little blast, a little blast. Do you want to take that right off for a minute? Or? You want to take that off? I'll, I'll make it. If you want to, take your shirt off. Oh, I need mean the shoe. shoe. See? It's all that working out you've been doing. Yeah. I'll we'll give you that show just before you leave. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I still got that picture on my phone. No, you don't. I will never get rid of it. No, go ahead. Will, you want to run it?
If I get the other handle, I can do it all. First of all, it's setting up a little bit already. I can feel it. Doesn't take long. High range. And then a little bit of accelerator with it. Gives you about 30. Good 30 minutes of working time, but it's set now. That's really the perfect clump uh, using that vibrator. Find out when your last day is, I'm going to blow that picture out and I'm going to put it at the end of the road. Keep fucking loving you. Right on the side for Haley. <laughs> They're going to miss me. You got plenty, Matt. Half a wheel broke too much. <laughs> so wash that and go to get rest. Right, I'll just double check that with the laser real quick. I think it's fine though. Perfect. I told him I said. We're pretty busy. I said, we're pretty backed up right now. I said, honestly, if you wanted to have it done, we'd be talking like late fall. All right, well, that went pretty well. Had plenty of concrete, 1,400 square feet, four inches thick. So probably, I don't know what it took us, 45 minutes to maybe between 45 minutes and an hour to get that in. So just basically we leave one guy here to finish, power trial it, saw it, and then a couple of us will go get jobs ready for, you know, down the road. Who knows when with all this rain, but that's basically the process. And if, you know, if, if we had everything all ready for a couple weeks in advance, then we just leave two guys here to finish. But uh, we're going to see if we can get something done tomorrow in that, that rainy weather. And then Friday looks good. Monday looks like rain again. Tuesday looks good. So. It's a juggling act when you got multiple jobs ready to go and people are just waiting. These guys are just waiting to deck this over. They're waiting for us. So at least we got these guys checked off the list. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.